Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to customize the header in PowerDB Lite forms. Let's get started. This is how the header for a PowerDB form looks like, and it's going to be the same for, for all of the forms. There are several things that can be customized. The first one is the header style. You can select a service company style where it will show the customer address in the name, or you can select uh, the style of an asset owner where well, that information is always the same, so no need to be repeated or to show it there. You can change the logos. You can change the names of these two fields, the substation and the position, if though you require or need something different there or for documentation purposes. The units of the temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit, uh, it's a drop-down list. And at the end of the test, once you have made a final assessment of those results, you can select uh, from a drop down menu different options of that uh, condition or the status of that test. To customize the header style and the logos, you have to go to Tools, Options. Here you have the header style. Once you make your selection, you have to reopen the software for that to uh, take effect. For the logos, you just uh, select your left logo and the right logo. You accept the changes here and uh, reopen a form and they will come into effect. The logos the, they have to be uh, BMP files in maximum size or the size, the recommended size is 400 by 240 pixels. That is uh, described here in the help, PowerDB help. Uh, section five shows the setting the logos instructions and uh, here are the instructions or the recommendations for that file. The labels, the substation label and the position label, you can change them to your needs. Temperature, Celsius or Fahrenheit. And uh, the test status, once you have completed the test, the idea is that you provide a final assessment. If it is a pass or a fail or the test is still incomplete or if it needs any attention. This concludes the video on how to customize the header in PowerDB Lite forms. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.